You are returning. Uh, people are so excited about this uh, for this great television project as Obi Wan Kenobi. Yeah. This has got to be very exciting for you. Uh, people are jazzed. Yes. It's exciting. It's exciting because I can finally say that I'm doing it. It's been years of pretending that. Oh, I don't know. Well, because I get asked all the time. Every time I do an interview, it always comes up. You know, would you, would you do it again? And there's all this speculation. And I had to just lie because they don't. They, you know, the studios and the franchise, they want to keep everything secret, and right. I understand that, but it comes down to me in a situation where I'm having to actually lie to people and say, well, I, I don't know, I, I would be up for it if they ever want to do it. And, it, it and you've known for years now, yeah. I, well, we've been talking about it for a long time, but it started looking like I was sort of trying to tout for the job, like yeah. I was trying to get the, get the job as Obi-Wan again, you yeah. know, at Disney's door, saying, hello, sir. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm available. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> would you, uh, you know, I mean, famously, you had to take over this role that was immortalized by the great Alec Guinness, yeah. and you did this remarkable job, and so much time has gone by. Do you feel like you're, 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 you're getting closer? Yes. Not even near to the age that Alec Guinness was thank, when he did it. Thank, thank you goodness. for that. Yeah, thank you. Bless you. Alec Guinness was, I think, 140 when he That's did right. it. <laughs> That's right, right. But, um, but at least <laughs> you've had more life experience. You yeah. can really play him at a different period in life. Yes. I mean, the, the most satisfying thing about those films, other than the, some of the fight sequences, which were amazing to do, was, was the study of Alec Guinness and trying to, trying to be believably him as a younger man. That yeah. was, as an acting challenge, that was the, the most satisfying thing about those movies. And so now that's the same, except I'm just closer to the age he was when he played that film. So it'll be interesting to, to play him now. And also it being post you know, plot-wise, the three films that I made already, it's after that, obviously. Right, so you so have... So, there's, there's a bit of story plot there. There's a nice arc that you yes. can play with. I hope so. Uh, the, you, you mentioned fight scenes. Um, lightsaber battles. Yeah. They can be difficult, can't they, when you're doing yeah. them in real... I mean, when you're, when you're on set and you're doing a lightsaber battle, there are inherent problems that people... We're just used to seeing lightsaber battles and, and yeah. thinking like, oh, those look amazing, but we don't understand that t technically there's some problems. They're, they're, they're incredibly intricate to learn. They're, first of all, it takes a long, long uh, time to learn the choreography, because they're essentially like dances. And you have, because you're actually whacking away at each other, you have, to, you have to be in the right place at the right time or you get hurt. And occasionally you do, you get, the, the, the lightsabers we, we fight with are, are Pole, they're metal poles, and they and then they and add the effect later they on. They add the effect yeah. later on. But when you when you're fighting, you're fighting sort of full contact with each other, and so um, you have to learn them, which takes a long time. And then when you're doing them, because you're sort of full contact, occasionally the um, the poles will slip down one another. And on a sword, in the old days when we used to use swords, <laughs> they had a hilt which would stop the blade from coming down onto your hands, but. Lightsabers don't have hilts yeah. because as Jedi's you're not meant to need one. Yeah, but... what idiot what idiot didn't put a hilt on a lightsaber? <laughs> you know I what I mean? Because in... you, you should need those you as need, well. You, you need, need a hilt. So you know? every now and again you'd get, you know, the the blade would just skitter down the other guy's blades, Hayden's blade or whatever, and get you right on the knuckles and you'd have to take a little minute away in the corner. I would love to see those out. Wouldn't you love to see those outtakes? There's many of just, them. Yeah. Just, just, yeah. ah, you oh, son of a bitch! Yeah. Yes, yes. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> to see Darth Vader going yeah. like this, oh. just, ah! Oh. Come on, Jesus! <laughs> That'd be so much fun. It's so much fun. It's true. It's true. They were fun to do. And there's a guy whose job it is to just make lightsabers. Like there was a guy on set, and he had a, a cart that was a lightsaber making cart on wheels, so it could be pushed to stage three and then over to stage five. And because after every take, the poles would invariably get a bit bent. And occasionally you get a really good bend, and then you know you really got a good shot in, you know. <laughs> but, he, but his job was to take your lightsaber after every take, and he'd be over in the corner, putting a new, <laughs> putting in a new blade on your lightsaber, and he'd bring it back over and be like, thank you, my man, good man. Yes. <laughs> like that. I love imagining him in a pub telling people what he does yes. for a living. <laughs> Straighten lightsabers is what yeah. I do. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll be sleeping with you later. Uh, <laughs> I just wonder where all the bent ones ended up. There must be a big lightsaber bent mountain somewhere, you know? Somewhere.